What's going on, everybody? How is everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing fine. Mo is in the background just doing some personal phone call. He'll be with us in a moment. I can't see the chat yet. Let's see. Okay. Hey, what's going on? Um, Dina, what's going on, Paul? Hey, Michelle and Jennifer, if you're still here, how are you guys all doing today? Hopefully, you guys are getting some listing done. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, Paul, that's what happened. That is what happened, Paul. Now we we're coming on a um quarter of and quarter past and then um Mo had a phone call, so no big deal. I am here to hold down the fort. Paul, how's everything doing sales? Um I feel like I've been missing your Tuesday shows. Um not purposely. I am listening. What's going on, Southern Geeks? How is everything today? Are you guys listening or shipping or what's the deal with you guys today? I'm listing this volleyball. Isn't this a nice volleyball, vintage volleyball? What's going on, Tofa? How's it going, my friend? All good, just getting some mail delivered, then going to list when I get home. Awesome. Thank you for listening while you're traveling. That's always cool. I'm listing and have one to pack. One is better than none to pack. So that is great, Dina. I have seven or eight to pack today. I did well yesterday. I mean, for me, I did well yesterday. Um, I think I sold like six yesterday, six or seven. A couple of decent ones um, and my bread and butter, some of my bread and butter. Hey, what's going on? What is going on, Mo? How is everything doing today? It's your Pretty boy good. Leroy, and we are live. I am. Let's I have a hold. Ugh. Nice, Tofa. Tofa, you seem like an animal. You seem like someone that actually gets like 20 to 30 done a day. What's your average, if you don't mind sharing? You don't have to if you don't want to. Mm -hmm. 
So you're still on hold? Yep, I am okay. still on hold. So you jump back and forth if you have to. That's fine. Yeah. How was your sales last night, my friend? Not too bad. Doing pretty good, actually. Yeah, well, how many did you get in yesterday? Not many. Only like four or five in this thing. Dude, but... I got like 25 in. That's big for me. Nice. Awesome. And I'd like to try to be on that path today. Um, I normally don't get much done before the show. But I think I got... I think I got five done before the... No, I got seven done before the show. Okay. Yeah. So that is always cool. Now I want to go back and check this guy out. Um... So if we look like we are preoccupied today, guys, that's because we are 30 on average. I figured that. Best day is 50. I figured that, Tofa, because you just seem like you're an animal. Um, you have a storage too, right, Tofa? I think you have a storage and you ship, You have some stuff at home. If you can answer that, Mo, or you don't know. Oh, he must be on mute again. I can't really see the screen. Yeah, he left. Okay. Didn't know he left. Jen's Closet. What's going on, auction lady? How's everything, Jen? I think Jen is super cool. I think all you guys are super cool, but something about Jen. That's super cool. Oh, wow. It's funny when you see somebody that has 700 positive feedback. I mean, some of you guys might have that. No offense to that. Wow, but they started a long time ago. They just started selling. They started April 2002. Started on this account that I have. I started in 13, I think. Nice. Nice, Topher. <laughs> Listen, if you don't think Jen is super cool, Paul, I think Jen would beat you up. What is going on, Julian? What's up, buddy? Good morning. Julian, what, uh, Mo thinks that every sh every um, fishing comment or fishing question has to relate around Julian. So something came up in the show the other day, and he was like, oh, we should ask Julian. Like, Julian's not the dictionary for fishing. <laughs> I know, Paul. I'm just teasing you. Okay. Paul, how's the, the planning for the wedding? You guys got food and everything done, right? <laughs> yeah, Leroy starts trouble. <laughs> I always start trouble. You see I'm not Leroy today, Paul. Yeah, I heard Jen can fish as well. I heard Jen can fish as well. Hmm. 
Well, this guy's starting tools, huh? Let's see. Oh man, what are you doing? You know what I noticed? If you just do one or two auctions, eBay doesn't even look at you. If you do a bunch of auctions, it's just like, it seems like, it sort of seems like um, YouTube. I'm looking at this guy's page and I could, the things he's selling on auction, I never could sell on auction. And like in the last month, he's sold like 45 things on auction. He must have listed them all on auction. I can't do that. That's so weird. I guess so, Jed. <laughs> I had to read that twice, Jed. <laughs> Jed, you're a trip. Here's the deal. Some people will never touch live bait. I don't know if you use live bait or not, Jen. But some people won't even touch live bait. So I understood. I believe I understood that properly because, like, there's people that they don't, they won't, they don't want to touch worms. They don't, when I, where I grew up, I mean, it's salt water, but when they catch salt water, they have the, the big long worms, the earthworms, well, the ones with the, the teeth, me, 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 with the big fangs, and you got to squeeze your head and pop the head off with your thumb. A monster toad. A toad fish or a toad, Jen? A toad fish? I never even heard of a toad fish. I gotta look that up. A toad fish? I never ever heard of a toad fish. See, guys, this is what happens to the show. We go in a rabbit hole. Jen put me in a rabbit hole. Let's see. Um, it has to be the ugliest fish I've ever seen. That's something I would think you would see in a fish tank, not out. Man, if I ever saw, I haven't seen it yet because it takes me forever to type. Okay, let's see. Oh my God, that is ugly. Oh God, yeah. Yeah, dude. Dude, if I, oh my God. <laughs> Are you serious? If I saw that thing, I would run away. That is not even a fish. That's a monster. You, you gotta be kidding me, Jen.
Oh my god, I gotta look at my Instagram. Sorry, guys. I gotta see this. The, if, if it's the same one I got the picture of, yo, I wouldn't even unhook that thing. Oh my god, I'm never going fishing again. Oh, this is a little different. Okay. What is going on? Disaster averted. Okay. We uh, uh, uh I can talk about it actually. It's not because it worked out okay. Uh it was crazy. I got a letter from I think similar, I think Paul said this earlier. A letter from the IRS, like I don't know, two weeks ago, a week ago. Been trying to get a hold of them every single morning. Uh huh. And we got a hold of them two hours ago, but I've been hold for two hours. Mm -hmm. So long story short, it's because they haven't even processed my, uh, I guess, thing from last year. Okay. They're like nine months behind. Okay. So they said, don't worry about it. The letter is just to say we may have extra that you might owe. I'm like, so you scared me for weeks for a possibility. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So. So Jen is in the chat because I told Julian's here. So yes. I told Julian that Mo thinks that anything that has to do with fishing, that uh, Julian is the fish ex the fish di like, dictionary. So Jen said, I mean, Mo, ugh, goodness, sorry, guys. So Julian said Jen is a fish, a fisher too. And then she said she caught this um, fish. Well, she said she caught this fish and... Then I looked up some fish. It's like a toadfish or something. Okay. But the one that I looked up actually looks like a monster. Okay. Um, oh, I will. I'm gonna send you. I'm gonna share it. It's not the one that she caught. But oh my god, if I ever saw this fish, I would never. Like I wouldn't take it off the hook. I would never fish again. Like now I'm afraid to go in the water. It mo. It looks like a monster. It does Let's look. See it. Where's the it fish? looks nothing like a fish. Like, gotcha. Hold on, I don't know if I can get it. Man, why is it not showing up? I have it here, and well, hold on, I might have too many things open. Oh, here we go. I caught a monstrous toadfish the other day. The yeah, but the, no, you, yeah, but I get it. I get it, but you can see the one that, the thing that I pulled up is not the thing that Jen showed me. She sent me a picture. Uh, the one that I pulled up, dude, I would run like, oh my God, I would never, ever, ever swim in the water again. Wait, you, oh my God, please just help me. Get like this Jaws? Up. You ever seen Jaws in the movie? No, no it, it looks like, it looks like death. <laughs> it okay. totally looks like death, like Oh my God! Why is it streaming? Where is this thing? How many windows do I have open? Close some windows. It's it's probably. Okay, uh, I got one. Then, I got okay. one. Now. Yeah. I got the one. I got this one. Yeah, sometimes right. it it's on the bottom, Mo. I don't see it yet. I just shared it with you. I don't see it. All right, hold on. I'll do it again. All right, share. I put share, share entire screen. No. Share. Okay. share Chrome. You can. I, that's why I do Chrome. Whatever. Yeah, but when I go to Chrome, it doesn't. Does I think I have way too much open. Hold on, Mo. I'm Mo, I'm gonna. About the, I'm, I don't, I'm gonna leave and come back. I see how it is. All right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, because I, I need you guys to see what I saw. That's the problem. This sounds like a real like outer body experience. Yeah, dude, <laughs> you have no idea what I just saw, and I'm afraid to lose this page because I like totally don't afraid. close it. Then, if you're afraid to lose it, don't close yeah, the, the whatever know, browser that is. Yeah, I did something. I don't know. Now I just I'm messing up. I'm scared. I'm gonna have nightmares. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be. I am in Jenna at like three in the morning. Oh no! Like Jenna, help me! This fish is trying to get me. Man, you're reacting like I did when I was the first time I saw a Nightmare on Elm Street. Ugh! Come on, nightmares man. forever. Oh my god! Did your computer I, I just No, I, I just... did. So I I went to go copy and 
paste and I copy and pasted my description that I use underneath my stuff. So it's all just a big. Sorry, today's been one of those days. Yeah. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, 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 please, okay, it's still there. Jesus, thank you. All right, hold on. This is like the freakiest thing I've ever seen in my life. All right, all right. So now I'm gonna close some pages down. Okay. Um, yeah, you might have to direct it to the right page. Okay, so, so I feel that. Page. Hold on, hold on. Now I got a ton of. Oh, he closed himself down. Good morning, everybody. Sorry about that delay there. I was just, oh, it's weird, man. I got that call at like 8, 11, I think. And then one person put me on hold for another person who put me on hold for a third person who says that everything is okay. And here's Leroy. All right. Good morning, sir. Yeah. Hey, what's going on, Tommy? Yeah. It was that video. Tommy, stop. I've never seen Queen of the South, but you guys keep talking about it. All right, so this is what I saw. It's going to be like your lunch from yesterday or something after all this. Dude, if this is my lunch... <laughs> No idea. Okay. Now, I got to try to save this. This is what I saw. Uh, sure. As soon as I put in the name that Jen said. Okay. Let's see. Chrome. Okay. All right. I got it. Ready? I'm waiting for, okay, now I see it now. There we go. At the stream, put it on the big screen. That is the picture that I saw when I typed in the fish that Jen said she caught. I said, if I ever in my life caught a fish that looked like any of that, I would run so far away and I'd never go back in the water again in my life. There's a fish called a football fish, Pacific football fish. What does that fish look like to you? Would that look something that you'd like to see? Um, not anywhere close to me. <laughs> right? Uh, right? That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like one of these guys has like five rows of teeth. Oh, like ten. <laughs> that, um, I have nightmares about this fish, Jed. My dream is to one day be... Oh, goodness. Pacific football fish. Great. It's on our side. Why can't it be Atlantic on your side? It's on your side? Well, it says Pacific, so I'm assuming it means Pacific Ocean. But it says deep ocean. One of them says deep sea. That's okay. I'm, I'm at least 100 miles away from any water. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not getting anywhere close to that. <laughs> I don't want to scare anybody else, so I want to get rid of this. That's nuts. Yeah. Good morning, good morning. Oh, picture. Oh, what are you picking up? My dream is one day to be King George. What are we talking about now, King George? It must be a YouTuber. No, it must be Queen of the South. They're talking about Queen of the South. Good morning, Jennifer Hayes. Hey, John. What's up, John? Jennifer Hayes was first this morning. I did note that. I could see the screen. I just couldn't get up in front of it. Mo could be five minutes from the water, he's still with go. <laughs> yes, yes, Paul, you're 100% right. There's absolutely, no, there's absolutely no problem with staying within your, your safety it, with, zone. Within your safety living net. room? People who like that. I've seen people who like that. <laughs> on the bus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if I see people like that on the bus, I'd be scared. Uh, you got to stop riding the Muni. They have, I think they call it the, uh, up in San Francisco, they call it the Muni bus. Those oh. things are like 50 years old. That like, is about so to fall apart. funny. That thing is like just a 
ugliest so fucking thing. Okay, I have a question for you. When was the last time you rode any kind of public transportation? I do it. Um, I I actually I've never. So okay, so here's my honest answer. I used to ride the subway for years, um, and I used to ride the commuter rail when I was in Boston. I used to do it every day. Um, when I went back home um, last year, um, I I drove the uh, bus probably for like two weeks. You drove the bus? I, <laughs> I took the bus. Oh, I was about to say that, that's pretty cool. So I'm not, no, I like the, I don't mind the public transportation. I really don't. I, I just don't talk to nobody. I just don't talk. To, but it's different in London than it is here. That's my thought. It was. You have to use it. You cannot. I mean, yeah. It, it's a nuisance to drive. But I feel like it's a different transportation. Like when you're on like the city bus, mm -hmm. and like you got like, like just like homeless people or people that are like so loud. And, oh, we got plenty of those. And then, like, they just leave their garbage. They eat, like, food on the bus, and they just leave it sitting there. Oh, yeah. They pee on the bus. Yeah. Yep. They pee on the bus. And, well, nowadays, you know, back in the day, it wasn't a big deal. But nowadays, like, they just come in, and they're banging, like, weed. Weed or, or alcohol. They are banging. Like, yelling about something. Yeah. Or the, or, or the new one. You got this one. You got... Hey girl, what's going on, girl? Yeah, how you doing? Yeah, what are you? Yeah, man, I can't believe I was at that girl's house, man. Man, you should see me, man. I was just sitting there eating, and then we were talking and stuff. And this guy came over, and he, she said it was just a neighbor. And then they went in the other room, and then she came back, man. Man, I don't got time for that girl, man. I, you don't believe me? I don't got time for that stuff, man. I moved on. I got I found this other girl. I was at her house, man, and we were chilling on the couch, we were playing video games and stuff. It was so much fun. You got to stop doing that on the bus, Leroy. <laughs> hey, Mark, how's it going, man? Dixon Pickers, sorry you had to hear all that when you first came in. I was doing my version of people on the city bus, the way that they act. No, it was weird. Growing up, going on the buses in London is weird because you see everything. I mean, I've seen literally pretty much everything on the bus. And then, oh, the other thing, you don't have buses where you can hang out at the side here in, like, the U.S., right? You no, can but, jump on and grab on the pole and just, like, jump off. People wouldn't pay. They would jump because they had, a, like, the like, quarter of the bus was open. So you literally jump on, grab on the pole, go uh -huh. down one stop, and then jump right off. And then hope that the, uh, what do you call it, the conductor doesn't ask you to pay. You can drop that. Drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. Thank you. No. City buses in St. Louis. Sorry. No, no, you're good, you're good. Yeah, sorry, I wasn't, I, I was clicking and not reading. I think it was worse in the 70s. Well, I wasn't really around the 70s, but the 80s and the early 90s because they would take the seats and throw them out the windows sometimes when they saw something they didn't like. It was pretty bad. Trains, buses, didn't matter what. I literally see the most random or most No, what I was saying was I was just clicking on things without reading. No, I, I've read everything now. No, I can read everything. Um... Yeah, it it's um it's hard, guys, because I I get defensive and I want to make sure that I know it's in the chat, but I just want that's why it seemed awkward right there. So we click on stuff and 
you guys talk about stuff, and I just don't want to anybody get upset with us. We don't want enemies. We want friends. We don't want frenemies. Wait, more. Exactly. Exactly. We have enough frenemies. <laughs> we got enough. We got enough frenemies. Is Queen of the South canceled? I still don't even know what the show is. Everyone keeps talking about it. <clears throat> no. You're judging me for picking my ass, Lee, right? <laughs> yes, we are. Oh, Leroy is. <laughs> picking my ass. <laughs> Am I reading that the way that I think I'm reading that? You are. Tommy, do you pick your ass? <laughs> Who doesn't, man? Come on. Wow. If I put it in the chat, I don't care. Okay. Well, yeah. Okay. okay. No problem. No problem. No. But we, we do hope that everything is okay or gets better with your yeah, daughter. We weren't trying to hide nothing. We just thought maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Forget us. Um, well, that's awesome, um, Tommy. Now, <laughs> see, I can't get into this, guys. You can't make me get into this because it, we will lose the four people that we have here. It, you know, oh, God, I can't. I, I want to do this, but I can't, Mo. <laughs> Go for it. It took me a long time to realize what I've heard people. I used to go around saying the word dingleberry. <laughs> Oh god! <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. Uh, a ball. I wasn't expecting that. It's too my, early in the morning for that. <laughs> my brothers used to call me a dingleberry, and then I would just call him a back. And then one day, somebody said, "You can't say that." <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Mm. <sighs> Oh boy! Well, <laughs> people pick their butt on the bus. I think they pick more than that on the bus. Yeah, yeah, I've seen some nasty stuff on the bus, especially around Topher. To see, see the thing. Funny thing about Topher is, he lives in one of the most expensive places in the world, slash one of the most, uh, let's say, rundown places in certain ways. So he'll probably see everything, like a. Uh, Lamborghini next to who knows what. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, same here. <laughs> uh, I think everyone used to say that. I don't know if you can say that. You can say that still, or you can't say that. I don't know. You can say it, but I just, I was a kid. Yeah, and I didn't know what my brothers used to call me Leo. I, I mean, they probably called you a lot worse. I know I got called a lot worse. <laughs> Not clinging on your Star Trek or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah no the worst is uh have you ever been on like the city trains where you're like basically shoved up against like yeah that's what i said i used to take the, I used to take the uh, subway and i used to oh yeah all the time i mean at least it's okay london the one gate i guess it's pretty cold but in the summertime oh my goodness that's bad Million dollar condos being built near the exactly. San Francisco is oh, there's craziness near the hood. Yeah, on the hood, and basically they move. They just kind of shove people aside. Yeah. Well, I heard so where I grew up, they started trying to put um, inner city people in apartment complexes where. So say they had like a nice complex. Like say, yeah. for instance, where I live here, I have a, a nice apartment complex, condos. And what they would do is they would allow 10% of them had to be, um, they had to fill out applications and pass. Yeah, you know, yeah. Certain, like Section 8. Or, uh, yeah, they would allow Section 8 to show them that they can get out. I think that's a legal thing you have to, yeah. But that's really doesn't that really doesn't work. Like, yeah, it doesn't. But I, I think it's more like a, I don't know. They they do that all the time around here, and then they try and get out of it. 
that 10% turns into 8%, turns into 4%, turns into, oh, wait, where do they go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and a lot of it's done for, fu- yeah. for funding. A lot of it's done for funding. And they ch- the, the crazy thing is they charge the Section 8 nothing. They charge the city buco dough. Oh, yeah. I mean, I don't care what city it is. There is some money going for something it shouldn't. It doesn't work at all. It doesn't. San Francisco, I mean, you want to hear complaints about pricing and housing and all that. Uh, you know, San Francisco, this is the worst of everything. There's projects in every zip code. By law. That's true. It doesn't matter. Do how you notice that they put them near the police stations? Yeah, and then they used to do all kinds of weird things with zoning and all this. But, I mean, now I think you're right, though. It's all down to money. It's to how, you know, if you fill in a form, then you get the, this kind of grant that the yeah. government or the city. They'll away. charge, they'll, they'll charge, like, they're going to get their money. Hey, what's going on, Art Vandalay? Oh, Vandalay. How's Guys, it going? make sure you go check out their show um, at right. 1 o'clock. I don't One know hour. what channel they're going to be on. It's on Joe's. It's nearly always on Joe's channel, I think. Is it always on Joe's channel now? <laughs> did they switch? Did, did uh, Art lose the contract? Art, it's not. I don't think. It, it, see, I bet it's on. Let's see here. 623. Let's see. Oh, wait. I'm wrong. No, no. See, it is. I got. It is. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. It's on Joe's channel. It's always on Joe's. It's historically red line property and tons of, yep. See, always on Joe's. That's what I thought. There's three of them, but it's always on Joe's. Oh, yeah, the Bay Area is awesome, though. I got to say, I mean, it's the best and the worst of everything. You can pretty much, I mean, it's extremes. Dan wants too much money. Dan, when's the last time you had a, a kitchen sink? Mo, Mo, we're talking cold word. You wouldn't know what that is. All right, they're on at 10. Let's see, there's the link. It says I could put the right one in there, didn't I? Yeah, it says 623. Is today the 23rd? Yeah, it is. Maybe, Maybe two, two months ago. ago. Sink. Nice. Right, it's so it's a pizza. It's a pizza. Oh, is it that big? Uh, it has what everything. Like Chicago deep dish. So they call it the kitchen sink. How close is he to his hours? Now you guys are funny. Anyone that's funny, I'll put their link up, no matter what. Oh, that means don't put my link up. No, you're 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 you don't f- do any I think, videos. I think the I think a real funny guy is coming. <laughs> but he chat for, because he stuff the chat that you could be reading the chat. And not. Oh, wait, I'm losing you, bud. Am I coming on now? Yeah, a little bit. I heard a real funny guy is. It's Tommy. Oh, Tommy. Okay. Because he he can go into the chat and just turn the whole chat by two comments. Him and Tof is like that too. Yeah. I'm surprised Topher doesn't have his own life. He could just do one sitting on. He's doing day. thirty listings a day. Oh, you weren't I here. I know he he's does got over time. thirty listings a day. He Topher do one time. called sitting on the bus. Just take your phone. Don't say a thing and just call it sitting on the bus. And I guarantee you, you know, every single day, if he goes and sits on that, like that San Francisco Muni, it'll be crazy. Are you frozen or are you just staring at the screen slow? I'm staring at the screen. Oh, man, why do you do that? See, I can't tell when you're frozen when you're not sometimes because you're, you you stay still, so still. Planning to have a life. See? Uh, all right. See, you said it. You got to do it. Call it <laughs> such. Uh, so we're not actually going to be able to see you, just see a big haze? Just a big haze. I, I think Tofa's best friend is... is um, Mary Jane? No. Uh, 
I don't even think he smokes as much as you guys. I don't think he does at all. No, I, I know. Around. I think he, um, his 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 Snoop Dogg. Hmm. Snoop Lion, whatever his name is this week. Yeah. So wait, Matt's moving part time picker. He lives. He's in the East Bay, I think. Oh, he's coming to steal all your product, kid. He's uh, because I know that eco thrift he goes to. That's in Hayward, and he goes. He's like in San Leandro, Hayward. Topo knows what I'm talking about. Yesterday we had the class on where everybody was, because I had no idea about LA or California. Or... I'm in Spartanburg. You're in Spartanburg. You're in Spartanburg, California. Hey, here's That's the right. funny thing. Here's the funny thing. Look it up. I bet you there is one. I bet there is. Yep. If you look up, I used to like I. I have this thing. I look up town like Leroy. This town's named Leroy in the United States. Oh, I've driven through Leroy, California. There's a Leroy, California. Is there? Yeah. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's called Leroy. Double check. I think that was California. Right. Oh wait, I came up with a person's name. It's the city of. Oh, we may not. It's, there's the city of Leroy. They they break it up. L E space. Yeah, yeah. But it's in California. I think there's a Leroy.org. <laughs> there's Leroy oh, Street. Yeah. It's at, in Illinois. It looks nice. No, there's a Leroy town in in um, a Leroy in um, New York. New York. There's one in Illinois too. It says yep. come for a visit. It's a big old thing. Yep. They've got, oh, they've got like a big party going on too, man. You could go to Leroy, Illinois, man. The tire is totally wrong. Bruce Leroy. <laughs> Used to smoke turtle power daily. Uh, there we go. Yinja Picker, how's it going, man? What's it's Mike, I believe, right? It's Mike, right? Is it Mike? You just met him. Leroy, you're on uh, Dina's Live. Oh, Mike. Yeah. What's up, Mike? So his pick is better. Is better. I didn't recognize his uh, screen. Wait, Tom, are you saying picking's better in Portland or in the Bay Area? It might be better in Portland. You get all that Nike. Uh, what else do they have up there? Uh, Pendleton, I think it is. Gilroy. Who's going to Gilroy? You get garlic there. There's a, there's a Gilroy Garlic Festival where they have gil, uh, garlic ice cream. And people oh, stand, right. it's like 100 degrees. People stand in line for this free little sample of garlic ice cream, and it tastes like it sounds. Garlic. It's not good. I made lunch today, and I forgot it at home. <sighs> oh, no. You're going to be grumpy soon, man. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> I didn't see <laughs> oh. What happened now? You read the screen. Uh, Tommy, you're lucky. I like you. It is. Yep, it is, Mike. Yep. Tommy, if you ask me, I'm black, okay? I'm In black. and out. In and out. If you ask me, I am black. When you were fortunate to meet me, and you could probably beg the differ. <laughs> Do I have a little ghetto in my walk or anything, Tommy? Like anything? <laughs> if I showed them the video you sent me, they would say no. Which one? The one with your brothers. Oh, the one with my marker, Chris. That was how, still the funniest thing I've ever seen you do. But I, yeah. Let's just say Lee. Did you see the one with the duck? When the duck was it's talking, like, it's like you're in front of some museum or something, or like in some parking lot, They're like it's like all gravelly on the ground. I'm telling you, it's been like Portland and Washington for a long time. Like, see, that's why I said Nike, Adidas, Pendleton. Hey, yeah. well, eating lunch right now. Oop, I don't know. I'm talking about food again. Let's see here. 
for it. Okay, we, we should we should that we should put that question out there. What is the best city? I guess there's two questions. One, the best city you sourced in, or two, the best city to source in. Just look at all your talk. If you didn't that have to work. <laughs> De La Soul was so different from everybody else at that time, though, weren't they? Like, completely different. They were not like the typical early 90s hip-hop. Um, Sounded different, they dressed different, they talked different. Yeah, they, yeah. They, they were like, to, me, to me, they were the version of nerdy hip-hop. Am I right? I, Does that sound right? Yeah, they kind of, you know, I could see, like, who's that kid who was on... Um, Oh my goodness. Another world, remember? He used to run around, at least he was running after Lisa Bonet the whole time. He had the flip up glasses. Dwayne, is that Dwayne Wade? Dwayne, Dwayne, um, his name was Dwayne, not Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade's a basketball Dwayne player. Wayne, I thought it was Dwayne Wayne. Dwayne? It's it? Dwayne something. Oh, is it? What was his last name? Was, was, what's Dwayne's last name in Another World? Southeast always seems to be great for sources. Southeast. So what is so we're talking about? What would the southeast be considered? What is southeast? Okay, so we're talking Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Maryland, Mississippi. It's twelve southeastern states. Okay, and I have been to oh, and South Carolina is not in there. No, not quite. Yes, they are. She's so saying there is du Dwayne Wade. It was Dwayne Wayne. Not, I didn't say Dwayne Wade. Where is Leroy? South Carolina. Leroy. I am uh, in Spartanburg, South Carolina. Spartanburg. Are you the only one in Spartanburg, South Carolina? Like uh, Dante is like, is he also in Spartanburg? Or, no, Dante is in. Are you, are you Dante, Dante's in Michigan. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. Dante is near Greenville. Greenville. Oh, that's right. We looked at the map, so not too far from you then. Oh, he's like um, 70 miles from me. Okay, not too bad. I think that on this community, I think he's the closest reseller to me. Oh, okay. And then the next closest would probably be, honestly, would probably be Josh. Yeah. Because Josh is only like an hour and 20 minutes from me. Okay. And then it would be uh, somebody in... Um, Charlotte and then yeah. Tommy Buffalo Picker is like three and well, three in, hours and 20 he's minutes. Atlanta, right? right? Yeah. yeah, Atlanta, I've heard, is I mean, it's just so many people now, so it's got to be good picking there. I, I don't, to me, I feel like there, see, but people source different places because I saw. Uh, flea markets and that's stores. true. Yeah. That's true. Are we talking about thrift stores? Are we talking about flea markets? Are we yeah. talking about garage sales? Yeah. We don't have old barns here in California, but we have thrift stores with that are way overpriced, but at the same time have awesome stuff. So if you can pay a little bit more, part time pickers resell niche for the months or near me. Yep. That's right. You got to watch out for that reseller niche. He's trouble. But yeah, Eco Thrift. That's the place to be if you're in California. Thrift Town is gone, I think. I I um I used to like going to a lot of places and places change. And I always say it all the time. I went to one place about two months ago. Yeah. And that is my new favorite place. And I can't wait to go back. So can you type the address in the nope. chat? There? Nope. It's not a secret. I've talked about it, but yeah, I'm saving it for me. If I ever me, get up in October, I'm going to come and steal your your uh, address book. Not shooting me. <laughs> yeah, Thrift Town. I don't know if they have Thrift Towns. Um, I don't know if they're called something else. They all shut down like two years ago, a year ago. 
They even made a movie in one of them. Lady Bird was at a thrift town in Sacramento. They have chains, uh, non-Goodwill chains of uh, thrift by you, Leroy, uh, or, or you don't? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, dude, I, I have literally, within five miles, I probably have about 15 <laughs> um, thrift shops. And you don't go to them? And I won't go to one. Why? Because it's not my thing. I'm not, I, I don't want to go buy one or two things. It, it's, it's just like the other thing that's not my thing. Yeah. It's yard sales. I don't do yard sales either. I don't do as many as I should because around I don't want to drive all around God's creation and find two things and then be mad. I'd rather go to a flea market and at least I park my car once and I walk all around and I look. Here's the problem with flea markets, at least where, when I went to them in California. There's San Jose Flea Market which is full of okay food, but as far as finding stuff, it's a lot of fake like rip-off shirts, clothes. Yeah, you got to find the right flea market because there's, yeah. there's it's new, huge, though. I call them new markets, yeah. and then there's used markets. It's just like auctions. Now, that auction up near Tommy, man, I'm telling you. There's nothing like that around here. I mean, that they auction, have auctions. Yeah, but not I've like been that. to a ton of auctions. That thing is absolutely the best yeah the problem see the problem with california is that everything gets like there's a lot of competition and the prices are ridiculous and yeah i think tommy's talking about uh, california thrift stores to go online yeah those are all online uh there's a couple of places like 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 i said thrift town's gone now eco thrift is good savers is ridiculous prices and the price uh, what they hit what they, what they call value village where you guys are yeah it's not uh, it's hit or miss if anything i like out of all those i like the goodwill bins i even have those bin stores i i have so much here. why don't you go to them then i wish because i, I don't want to that's not my thing Ask ask Topher how how nasty the uh, see then the San, go to the um what's better than the San Jose flea market is the uh, who I went there a couple times it's um, in Santa Clara it's the um, De Anza flea market that one's better Topher that's 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 slightly more high end. Is that for me, Tommy, or is that somebody else? Yeah. Maddie's Fun Market. market. The other day picked up Xbox. 20 bucks. That would never happen around here. So, wow. Nice. So, guys, if you are in the background and you're just doing some work, trying to get some stuff done, we appreciate you hanging out with us. Um, I, I see that there's some people probably hanging out and just getting work done, and then there's people in the chat. So everybody who's just listening um, and getting work done, thank you guys. All right, I'm gonna. I want to see which flea market you're going to. Some people can't do flea markets, you know. I'm not. I'm, okay, the flea market slayer. Let me see where he is. I want to see where he is. I can probably tell by looking at it. The De Anza flea, College Flea Market is ridiculously good sometimes. I remember uh, they had like Cole Hans and they had, what, what is this? Uh, Helen Edmonds. I don't really do shoes. They had all of these brand new in box. It was like five, 10 bucks a piece. This guy had like a stack of 50 of them. In the stadium, he let me see. I'm looking at something called the Flea Market Slayer. It's one of his videos. Is this Oakland? Oh, he's near, he's in Oakland. Yeah, see, he's in, oh, he, I know where he is. Leroy would like this. You'd like this, Leroy. He's at the Coliseum. He's at the SWAT meet. Okay, I know where he is. Yeah, you'd like this, Leroy. The Oakland Coliseum swap meet, it's a little bit more, it's a bit of everything, but you do find stuff there from time to time now. Okay. 
the one I'm not a big fan of is the San Jose flea market. Well, the, the out there, a regular flea market they call a swap meet. I've learned that. It's, it's weird. I've seen because they have the San Jose flea market and then they have the Oakland swap meet, which is yeah, which a, is a, a flea, flea market. market. Yeah, so a swap meet to me is see, it's it's two annual, like a couple times a year, and it'll be an auto swap meet or a gun swap meet or a Bobby Dow swap meet or a yeah. con. No, so then they don't call. Then when you get into baseball cards, they call them trade shows. They're not called swap mates, but it's the same to me. Yeah, and they usually endorse like when yeah. they have the trade shows. I used to go to toy shows too. And if you're ever, if you're into vintage toys, they used to have like the toy what do you call it show in San Jose. It's huge. You can buy up people's entire collections because it's not resellers selling in there. That's what I feel that Lonnie's guy does. I feel that Lenny's guy goes to shows all the time and then he buys in bulk and then he sells to Lonnie. He keeps what he wants and he sells to Lonnie I used and to still that. makes money off it. That's a great eye to have. Yeah. You got to have a good eye to do well because the problem with the California, like I said, is sometimes the stuff is priced high. How much is toll Topher? That's a good question. How much is toll now? Are you talking about the Golden Gate Bridge or the Bay Bridge? Topher, you go, you go that, you go down south then if you're going. Um, I so don't like driving over the bridge. Nobody likes that. See, the Golden Gate Bridge is at six bucks. Is that that's the Bay Bridge though, right? Golden Gate Bridge is more than that. I think you don't have any bridge tolls around you, do you, Lee? Right? Um, not that I know of. Even though yeah, I just got something in the mail for a, a highway toll. Oh, you have those where you have to drive? Like when I drive. traveled from um, from um, Maryland to Rhode Island, yeah. I mean to Maryland to uh, South Carolina, I must have hit a toll because I have an easy pass. But mm -hmm. once you get past Virginia, they don't use easy pass. They use <sighs> so annoying. Yeah. Golden Gate Bridge at eight bucks, but that I mean, yo, there's a bridge over near Tommy's that's like fifteen dollars. I think it's more than that. What? Yeah, there's there's bridges that are like thirty five dollars. Giving you lunch? I mean, what's going on? Fifteen dollars? No, no, there's bridges. There's a bridge in Virginia that is like somebody told me it's like forty five dollars. Come on. Yeah, it's like thirty five dollars across a bridge. Yes. You buying a piece of the bridge? Yep. Yeah, six I see bucks. Paul back in, so I think Paul, six dollars. There, there, because I was in Fremont, so we had the Dunbar Bridge. Yep. See, see, what Paul said, see, Paul said six dollar bridge. That ain't nothing. Paul, what's the most expensive bridge you've been on? I'm telling you, there are bridges that are like forty five dollars. I'm not saying for a tractor trailer either. I'm saying for your regular car. Let me look it up. Bridge tolls. <laughs> Dan said they wash your car when you go over it. It's a Bay Area, man. They, they'll, you'll be lucky if they piss on your car. I hate living in Pennsylvania. I get dehydrated. Ugh. Yeah, I never around you. It's, yeah. You live in Bougieville, man. Bay Bridge is like $13. The wash your car. <laughs> Bay Bridge is like 13 I think that's if you... No, the Bay... What's the Bay Bridge? Oh, you have one. It's called the Bay Bridge over there too. Yeah, that's near Tommy. Thirteen dollars. That's crazy. It's twenty six. What? New the? York, London. No. Oh, that's. Oh. I told you, it's crazy. There's Hence one in Virginia. Virginia. There's one in Virginia. Twelve dollars. What is the what Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania it? Turnpike? That's all. Is that over there? Um, I'll be near Paul, Pennsylvania Turnpike, $112.91. What the hell is what? I don't get they it. Give you, they give you lunch and stuff. They give you lunch, they wash your car. I want more than lunch from paying $112. Give you, give you a little rubber tuck. <laughs> Full body back rub. You got to keep going for $112. That's all I'm saying. I'll leave it at that. 
Pennsylvania Turnpike ranks world's most expensive toll road. It's a road. It's not even a bridge. What is it, made of gold? And then, yeah, New York State Thruway, $28.05. Florida Turnpike, $26.45. These guys are nuts. The bridge to get from Indiana to Chicago is only $6 or $7. Yeah, that's, I mean, I I was complaining about six bucks for the Bay Bridge. $15, I believe. Five to six, yeah. At least in Sacramento, it's only four bucks a gallon. I was like four oh eight. I think I just filled up. San Francisco is the worst for gas. I would never. When COVID fill up. hit, when ho when COVID hit, gas down here was under two dollars a gallon. What is it? Nineteen ninety nine? Seriously, under two dollars a gallon. Oh, the gas people on the phone. Uh oh. Uh, the bridge and tunnel folk have got to them. Stop talking about our tunnel. Let's see here. Yeah, see, number one is Pennsylvania Turnpike, 112.91. Is that true, Paul? 3.15 here in. Okay. All right, gas prices. Let's see. Gas prices, California. Most, let's see. Most expensive. Yes, in the U.S. Let's say the U.S. Uh, right now. Okay, I don't want the state. I want to know the number. Yikes! Three fifteen for gas. That's not too bad. I'd be happy with it right now. Right now, it's four dollars and change. Right now, Mendocino, California is charging $6.73 per gallon. Mendocino. That's, where the hell is that? That is Marin County. Is that around there somewhere? I think. It's going entire distance probably. It's pretty high. Yep. Yeah. 6.73. And this was June 4th. This was taken. That's nuts. And Topher, I don't know how you can afford it. Mendocino is a small county in Northern California, about 150 miles north of San Francisco. I mean, that's not even near San Francisco, then. Yeah, they can afford it then if it smells like weed. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's hilarious. The current national average for gas is three dollars and four cents, so not too far off from Dan's uh, price in Indiana. While LA County's average is four twenty-three, that's kind of like what it is around here in Sacramento. It's around four bucks something. Man, why is it so expensive up near Big Sur and all that? Is it hard to get gas up there? Are they using it all for the uh, for something else? I think they are. That was um that was the uh, Department of um, Pennsylvania Highways for um, Paul. They said you owe four times that hundred dollar toll. And next time you go over the bridge or go through that highway, they're gonna uh, confiscate, dude. Oh my God, you guys, we're talking about this. You know what I saw on TikTok the other day? People that have deflectors, have you ever guys seen those? They got mm. deflectors for their license plate, so those scanners can't read them. It, they're called license plate scramblers. Yeah, and they also so do you something. look at it straight on. You look at it straight on, and, and you can read the numbers. But when as soon as it hits a certain angle, like a fifteen degree angle and up, it scrambles the numbers. Has anybody seen that yet? And uh, then they, they, there was a, there was there was a thing, and they were showing, like people have a, a, a switch where the license plate goes in. Yeah. And then there was people hanging out of the back of a pickup truck to cover the license plate yeah. so they wouldn't see it. Well, <laughs> like, there was something in the trunk with their hand off the trunk. 
<laughs> the camera caught all of us. They're idiots. I mean, uh, <laughs> driving legacy charge or whatever. Yeah, I, I agreed. Don't ever get stuck in between here and Vegas. It's, it's the middle of no man's land. Yes, they're legal. My normal price for a turnpike is like $4 each way for two weeks. Then what is that thing that I just read then? What is that? Uh, I don't get it. What is that? I don't know what I was reading. Though. It's probably a private road, though. No. Maybe, maybe, yeah. No, I mean, hiding your license plate. They have a spray too. I heard that you can spray on there, so it like when the camera uh, flash hits it, it blurs it. Yeah. So I, heard, I heard another thing. You just pull your cap when you drive through it, and you just do this thing, and you pull your visor down. So supposedly, if they can't see your face, they have to match you. The driver with the license plate so if you, you can just say well that wasn't me driving that car they have to match it don't matter picture. it's registered to you no if no, i'm no. driving your car and i get in a car accident that's different accident's different i'm saying a ticket i think with tickets you have to they have to figure out who was driving the car like let's just say i was driving leroy's car and then leroy gets the ticket he can say well that wasn't me I, I think I, I understand, but I just. But I don't know if they change. I mean, well, do you have all the um? What do you call it? Um, the right turn uh, camera things and all the cameras. Uh, not down yeah. here. I I go, right every, I go through every red light that I can see. Oh my goodness! If it's not a major intersection and I gotta wait at the light down here, man, I never. The only thing I don't mess with down here is the train track. I seen I seen three cars so far get parlayed. <laughs> no, I guess the train tracks scare me. The train doesn't stop. <laughs> oh no. It's funny I was having this conversation. When when we were kids, they used to have all these PSAs about don't play on the train tracks. Oh, Literally yeah. they would show kids getting their arms, their legs chopped off. I remember there was a there's, you can look it up on Google. There's a video from the late seventies in England about don't play on the train tracks it's called robbie or something like that and it's about this kid that likes playing soccer long story short he loses his legs and they show it in the video this is what they used to do to us elementary school kids when we were growing up just to get us not to play on the train tracks there goes the train right now oh, i'm still scared to this day when i think about that video the trains over here and the trains outside of my warehouse dude they literally, I've counted a hundred and what, 50 cars, 160 cars. Why are you counting cars? Oh, when you're at the red light? When I'm at the red light. Yep. Uh, There's, there is a train that is the, one of the trains, that one, if it's yeah. that long, if it's that long, it blocks two intersections within a mile. Hmm. That's, jeez. Yep. No, what I was saying, Dan, is you can <clears throat> you can fight it. Let's say it's your car, but it wasn't you. You can if you can prove that it wasn't you driving it. At yeah. least in California, you can you hold can. On. Um, hold on, hold on. They'll have to look it up. I think it. I think you still have to pay, but then they basically send the ticket to the other person, not you. They'll get their money eventually. I mean, it's no get around getting it, paying off the ticket. We even got construction zone cameras. So like, oh, I hate all these cameras, man. Camera tickets are to the car, not to the specific driver, since they can't tell. Exactly. That's what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. But, I mean, I think they're cracking down on that because people, I don't know. And, like, you, if you get a ticket when you're driving a U-Haul truck, too, then the U-Haul gets the ticket, and then they send it to you. You'll still get the ticket eventually. That happened to me one time. Uh, I think I went across, what did we do? Oh, went across the Golden Gate Bridge. <clears throat> And I didn't, and there's no toll thingy, and I didn't have like an easy pass. So I got a $7 ticket in the mail like six months later from um, indirectly from U Haul. <sighs> Damn Golden Gate Bridge. Cameron, what's going on, man? A break from work. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's not paid the suspenders. Yeah. Someone's going to have to pay. I mean, don't not pay your 
parking tickets or whatever, traffic tickets. They'll go after somebody somewhere and somebody's gonna get that ticket. I know, man. I was so disappointed. I'm like, all right. Because I was like the second person in the chat and I was like, all right, there's only two people here. I got a 50-50 shot of winning 50 bucks. I'm gonna take Cameron's money. And then it didn't happen. That's okay. I'm a little bummed. That thing was kind of cool though, that little um, randomizer that you had. But uh, maybe next time. Leroy said he'd give me 50 bucks anyway. It's okay. He's not listening. I'll see if I can get him to pay attention. So he's walking away. It's all good. No, I don't, last time I got a traffic ticket, um, I mean a camera track for a ticket, I got four of them. When they first put the right turn tickets, this is like 10 years ago. And then I went to fight them and then they threw out three of them. They made me pay one, um, but I got three of them thrown out. And then when I went, actually the, the reason it got thrown out is because the judge threw out all of them. If you only had one, he was throwing them all out, but because I had four, he made me pay one. But uh, I hate those camera tickets, especially uh, camera, um, especially the right turn ones. So I'm scanning the guy. Scan, I got 50 bucks from me. I'm not going to do it. Are you serious? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. I mean, it didn't go to, um, I think it was what, Rebel Junk, that one. That's not cool. I thought pay. I thought PayPal had fail safes that so that can happen. That sucks. How would someone else pretend it to be her or what the? That's not cool. That makes people not want to do giveaways then if like there's people out there doing that kind of stuff. Stop stealing people's money. Uh, that kind of stuff irritates me. You should you should like let people know what that person's name is. Let someone do create a fake account and act like Yeah, so that's what I'm wondering. I mean you don't have to give details, but that's not cool if there's somebody going around pretending to be somebody else and, you know, falsifying information for PayPal or whatever. They stole her photo from an IG account pretending to be her, stating her friend list job. Ugh. That's not cool. Uh, Did you advertise this for a while? Or I mean, how did they even find that? I mean, they, they're waiting for this stuff. How many times? Have they yeah, it's, um, I guess they have bots ready for this thing. Yep, exactly, bots. Lost their job. Ugh. This irritates me. What? <sighs> they need some kind of thumbprint verification or something then. I don't know. Retina scan, can we do that? Like uh, demolition man style without taking out the eyeball. Uh, I hope so, because that's just not cool. That just makes me feel pissed off. We should try and do a fake giveaway and see if we can lure that person back in. And then, uh, well, they've probably already given up on that account. Nah, that's not your fault. You don't assume that someone's going to fake an account. <clears throat> Tell you if it's giveaway, get hell of views. I'm going to do a fake giveaway then and then see if I can lure that person back in. 
Yeah, I don't give it, I don't do giveaways. It just hurt channels in the long run. They get dead, so it's a good watch. Yeah. Maybe maybe the way to do a giveaway is only to people that have subbed before you announce that there is a giveaway. So that way you know that they're legit. I don't know. Hey Glenn, how's it going, man? Leroy, did you hear this? I need like two more minutes, okay? No, go for it. Can you give me a thumbs up? I can't hear you. Okay. Notice how Leroy is not making eye contact after we started talking about someone stealing PayPal information. I don't know, man. Uh, Never done one either, never will, yeah. I'll give away my best wishes and my, I'll give away some gratitude. On YouTube, I already get people who want me to see. What? Ew. Gross. I'm not clicking on any weird links. I don't care who it's from. I want to give away fake games. <laughs> You should do a video on fake games. I bet you run across a bunch. I mean, I used to, uh, I used to have people. I didn't, I didn't, never sold that many video games, but I've had people send me things on eBay saying that's fake or that is that legit or can you prove this is real? I'm just a celebration. Like when I hit one case and actual items to subs who are there, and I know are real. People. Yeah, I think you should kind of notate before you announce it that, you know, you, you kind of figure out who the pool of people is, then announce it. And then if you, they weren't in that pool, then they weren't in that pool. Probably get plenty of those fake Pokemon DS games. There's, I even have one, uh, a fake, I think it's a DS game, uh, still. And the person wrote Pokemon on the front of it. Just watch it hurt so many channels. Yeah. No worries. I'm too cheap to do a giveaway. I give away an insult. I give away a compliment. That's about it. Uh, that sucks, though. I mean, I guess it makes sense. PayPal should have some kind of, I don't know, something for that. So where you can cancel the transaction because doesn't it take two or three? Is it an instant payment? Or doesn't it take a couple of days to go go through? Can't they block it on route? I don't know. Because I remember when we used to do uh, when I had my shipping store, we used to do a lot of international shipments where people weren't even in the country; they were paying for stuff, and we would force them to. We would need everything, name, address, phone number, where we take a, uh, even if it wasn't a US driver's license, like a picture of a passport, we would take everything. Because even with all of that stuff, every now and then we'd get a call from the police saying, <clears throat> oh, this is, you know, so-and-so's information that's been stolen. Um, X amount of money was spent on their credit card. <clears throat> Did you ship this for them? And we'd say yes. And then, we would be, I mean, this is bad to say, but we would be covered if we had all of that documentation. What I mean, and you're not going to get that, Cameron, but we would have, you know, pictures of everything, all their IDs and everything. The weird thing is if they supplied all of that, then we were covered. And then, um, I, mean, I don't know what that would happen to the person who had the stuff stolen, though. Because I remember we had a giant box of, I think it was spark plugs, and they, a, just giant box. And it was, they asked, some guy on the phone asked us to ship it from, I don't know where he was shipping it to. And then we got a call from a store in New York City, an auto parts store saying, somebody charged our account and there's a bunch of like spark plugs that somebody bought that wasn't us. And we got stuck with them because they didn't want to pay the shipping back to them. And even though their credit card had been stolen, so we ended up just canceling the whole thing. And then um, I think we got a UPS label to have it shipped back, but 
That kind of stuff sucks. Don't do a giveaway, just an auction. There's enough of those. That's right, Craig. I thought about, I thought about 500 doing one, then change my mind. There's too many damn giveaways. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I've never done a giveaway. I don't think I'll do one because I don't think I'd have that many people tuning in to watch it. So I don't know. I'll tell you what, if I ever hit 100,000, I'll do a giveaway. I will give away a candy bar. Hopefully it's not summertime. I mean, this will probably be the year, let me see, was it 2021? 2051, but still, if I'm alive by then, and I hit 100,000, I'll give away a candy bar. So we'll see. But I do not know what happened to Leroy. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, though. I said, Craig got one of my giveaways. Nice. Nice. What was the giveaway? May do a live 1000, may not. All right, so you said it. You got to do it now, Paul. Paul's going to do a live at 1000. You, you, you can do a live with, uh, you can do like a GoPro live, walk around the, the garage sale or something. Four listings done. Uh oh. What's a listing? I've done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero listings. I think I was king cake. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't think I've ever won a giveaway either. We'll see one of these days. Fingers crossed. I will enter uh, Cameron's or Paul's 1000 giveaway. And then hopefully I'll win. We'll see. I got six done. Now you guys are just making me feel bad. I got absolutely nothing done. Except I got to talk to you fine people. It was my 500 sub. Nice. Not doing a giveaway. You can give away your time on a live, Paul. How about that? So technically, it is a giveaway. And it is giving away because if you're doing it at your 1,000, that means you're not monetized yet. So it's a giveaway. Just, you know what? Just say giveaway and then the giveaway will be getting to see my face. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Just make sure you clickbait it a little bit. Just say, you know what? Say something like live giveaway on Flipping Sports Guys channel. And then when they get there, you're saying, yeah, it is a live giveaway. I'm giving away a free live. That's it. There you go. Live giveaway. Ten away from four hundred. All right, hold on. Let me look up fifty drinker. You're just steamrolling this. Monetized for a long time. Well, me, I don't have an issue with hours. I've got pretty much gotten done with the hours. I just don't have any subs, so. But you can go and sub to Thrifty Junker. She's only 10 away. See, Marshmallow's going to sub. And what we're talking about. I'm back. What happened? Um, I went on vacation. That was a short, what, 15-minute vacation? 
it wasn't 15 minutes. But goodness gracious. <laughs> oh, snowflakes ready. What's going on, Lynn? Lynn Shark Picker? I've been monetized. I've always been monetized just on YouTube. There you go. Need subs go to Subway. That sounds uh, pretty good right now. Thank you, Dina. No, Paul was saying he's going to do a live when he hits 1,000, but he's not going to do a giveaway. So I told him the live will be the giveaway. You're giving away your time. Is he, he's not a 1,000 yet. No, when he hit, when he hits 1,000, he'll hit 1,000. He's probably... He's, yeah. I think he's Three at 600. Afternoon. I think he's at 600. Yeah, and he'll be at 700 tomorrow. Yeah, he's one of those guys. He's on that train. Yeah. He's on the Paul train. Yeah. Well, don't say it the wrong way. Not the Paul train. We don't want other Pauls or people that might be named Paul to come after us. So he's on the, the footing the sports guy footing train. Sports guy train. Yes. There we go. They're talking about you on that other channel. Take it easy, Glenn. I saw him do it. No, I was saying, I don't know if you saw that, but Cameron, he had a giveaway like a couple days ago or was it yesterday, I think. Yeah, yeah. And then somebody impersonated um, Rebel Drunk, the person who actually won, sent like fake account and everything, and then they took his 50 bucks. So he, he's, he has to pay twice because obviously he still paid uh, Aaron. Wow. So, I'm like, that sucks. Mm -hmm. It's just not Dirty cool. dogs. Dirty dogs. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like this community is getting full of them. <sighs> no people oh. stop stealing money. Mm -hmm. Not cool, man. Not cool. Mm -hmm. Mo, how many got listed? I can't hear you. How many do you have listed? No, still can't hear you. Sorry. You must be something wrong with connection. Did you want some pizza? Yes. <laughs> Did you want some pizza? Uh, I'm listing them now, I think. Oh, you weren't even there yesterday. Oh, I saw your Instagram and, thingy. Do you know what they are now? Yeah, but yeah. I got to go back into my phone and double check, though. So somebody told you? How did you find uh, out? A bunch of people knew what they were, to be honest with you. No I things? can't use Google Lens. Why? I don't know. It doesn't work for me. Doesn't like you? No. Nope. That's not cool. Come on, Google. Be nice. I can't download it. I can't even download it. Maybe. Is your phone maxed out of space? Uh, not anymore. Hmm. Maybe you've downloaded it already. It's just uh, that happens sometimes on an iPhone. You actually, you think you have it, and it's already there, but it's just hidden. Google away. Lens. It says how to install. Google, how to. Um, it's an app, right? Yeah. I know the last two times I tried to do this, it didn't work for me. It should be able to. I've never really used Google Lens that much, but let me see. It's showing me open. Google uh, Google Lens. Is it, why is it bringing me into Google Play? Hold on. Let me go in there. Google Lens. I see Google Lens, though. We're going to run soon. I don't know how many people are here anyway. Yeah. It isn't a download, it's built into Android. It's just the Google app. It's part of the Google app. It's telling me it's downloading it. You have an iPhone, right? So I think no, I don't have an iPhone no more. Oh. So 
sometimes Google is this list out of Google Assistant on older Androids. There you go. Okay. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. It probably is there. You just haven't uh, figured it out where it is. Well, it says that it's downloading it. Let's see. Or if it asks too many questions, then I won't do it either. I, I forgot what it was. <laughs> asks too many questions. Yeah, if it starts asking me like a hundred, like my first born and blood type. So it's an open camera, allow pictures, right? Allow device. Okay, now it's showing me. All right, no, let's see. Let's see. Best dad ever can. Let's see. Click. See, looking for results. Why is it going through that quick and I couldn't do it before? I don't know. It's showing me best. Uh, yep, piggy bank. Wow, I found it. All right, let's see. What else can I do? Oh, this one I was trying to do. Tofer's up to 10. Tofer, good job, buddy. You're on your I'm way to 30. Ten too. If you take off the one from that 10, that's what I'm up to. Oh, yeah, not exactly 10, but yeah. I got to go eat soon. Yeah. Needed a support team. There you go. Always. I always need a support team. I do need my own support. I have my own support team. You do? Yeah. Can I borrow them? You're a part of it, so I don't know if you can borrow yourself. But I wouldn't want to do that. I'd fire myself if I had to hire myself. All right, now is there something here I can Google Lens? Oh, I can Google Lens these things that I just was trying to Google Lens. We're going to jump off in like two, three minutes. and Can we just, we just disconnect? Because the last time we jumped, I hurt my leg. Yeah, <laughs> you hurt your leg. Yeah, how'd you hurt your leg? Because we jumped off. Uh, 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 uh. There's the bell. The bell was there actually. It's just underneath a bunch of crap. So it's a day. Hook is what it's called. A Dave Davies. Davies what? About I don't know. I don't know how to say it. It's a some kind of hook. <laughs> There's something I have here that I wanted to check too. Um I still got two hours left on the mail route. Right? Oh, I'm sorry. I appreciate that, though. Thank you. Bronze barrel hook. $16. Oh, they even have cheap ones. Yeah, bronze barrel hook. I see it. I don't know if it's barrel. It's B R U M M E L. Oh, wait, I put the wrong thing. That's not it. Double barrel sliders. Antique bronze open hook clasp slide. Is that what, a word you came up with? Yeah, you know me. I just make up crap. All right, guys. We are going to take off. We're going to actually sign off here. Super, super appreciate everyone being here. And thank you, everybody. Thanks for the lunch break today, Moto. I usually don't get one, so thank you. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed. What did you What did you have? Uh, nothing. 
All right. Bye, guys. Have a great day. See you guys on Monday, guys. No 